Ben here. Welcome back to another live stream. Today we are live with the DC TV show, episode 77. So yeah, it's Friday. Normally we don't do live streams on a Friday. I apologize. I double booked myself yesterday and I didn't realize until it was too late. So I do apologize that it wasn't on Thursday as usual, but hopefully some of you guys are around and you're going to be joining the live stream. And for all of you guys who are joining in live right now, welcome to the live stream. Today we're going to be talking about a bunch of different topics. We actually have quite a lot of new kind of newsy topics. I've made videos on some of these this week. However, I haven't made, you know, videos on everything yet. And, uh, you know, I have a lot of talking points that I want to go over, which I think you guys are going to find very interesting. And I know you're going to want to interact and talk about it in the chat. So obviously, stay active, stay around for the live stream. This isn't going to be a super long live stream. It's probably going to be, you know, like 30 to 40 minutes long. Um, just because it's a Friday, and I'm sure everyone has a lot of stuff to do. But this is, you know, catching up for yesterday. And so hopefully you guys stick around throughout this whole live stream. And if you want to support the channel and be featured on the stream, like Cal, one of our members of the channel, like this, uh, I'll pop you up on the stream if you send in a super chat. Obviously, you're supporting the channel, but also you get your questions answered live on stream. So yeah, we have a lot of topics, like I said, and you know, welcome everyone who has been joining. And for those of you who are watching afterwards on the YouTube channel, welcome. And uh, yeah, this is my face. Uh, I know I don't show it on every video, but I do show it on live streams every Thursdays, except when I announce, oh, it's happening the next day. So yeah, welcome Evelyn, Cal, Stephen, and everyone else that is joining in right now. So yeah, we're going to be talking about various topics today and we're going to get through them bit by bit. So the first thing I want to talk about, and I think arguably was the biggest piece of news this week, was basically the huge changes coming for the CW. And that is in the announcement that Mark Pedowitz, the CEO and chairman of the CW, has in fact left the company. Now, that is a huge thing. Because if you guys didn't know, Mark Pedowitz has been in charge of the CW for over 10 years. I believe it's like 13 years or something. Anyway, when he joined, the CW only had one prior president of the CW, someone that was in charge and was the CEO and uh, chairman of the company. And that person had, uh, you know, set up shows like Supernatural and stuff, but they didn't really... Uh, you know, build this kind of great kind of universe that Mark Pedowitz was able to build. And that is because Mark was a very strong believer in what he was producing, the content that they were making. And so it's a huge loss for the CW with Mark Pedowitz officially saying he has left and it's effective immediately. That means he's going to have no effect on any future season or this season of say The Flash or Superman Lois or say a new season of Stargirl if it gets renewed. So what is going on? Well, as you know, Nexstar, a local media TV kind of company, they took over uh, most of the CW. They got like a majority stake. That means 75% of the company is theirs. And you know, at some point in the future, maybe they'll buy out more and they'll buy out Warner Brothers TV and CBS Studios' final shares in the company because they kind of round out the remaining like 25%. And uh, along with Mark Pedowitz, it was announced that two fellow high ranking colleagues also left at the same time. So there is a clear pattern. You can tell that, you know, this was planned between the three of them because. I don't think they would just leave all at the same time. And it has to be emphasized, they weren't fired, but I'm pretty sure they decided to leave because of being explained by Nexstar what their plans were. And that's just not what they were, you know, all about. And so they've gone their separate ways and they're going to be building, you know, different things in the, maybe the style of the CW or they're just going to be taking on new adventures, new paths uh in the film and tv industry 
And for Mark Pedowitz, he has uh, restarted his production company, which is obviously exciting because if you guys didn't know, he actually worked with Greg Berlanti and I think Warner Brothers TV even, even before he became the CEO and president of the CW. So what do you guys think about that? Like, yeah, he's out there. He is not with the CW anymore. Nexstar has actually appointed one of their own as the CEO. They haven't got anyone from the outside. They've got someone from their inner core ranks. So that means we're going to be getting a CW that is led by Nexstar's intentions. And as far as we've seen in terms of reports, that it doesn't look good. It does not look good because Considering it's a board member from Nexstar, that means they are going to be following strictly what Nexstar believes is going to make the CW profitable. And they have emphasized that over and over in every article that they truly believe they can make the CW profitable by changing the content. And they don't want the content that the CW has been making in the past. They are sticking to about 12 shows obviously they cancelled a bunch of the shows as you guys know that was huge news and yeah so now what they're gonna do is limit the amount of original shows that they produce to limit costs they're gonna buy a bunch of shows that have aired in the past and could be popular and play in the day and they're going to be creating sitcoms and different things like that so that is obviously not what the CW has been about. So the fundamental schematics of the CW is going to be changing in the near future. And obviously we have shows like The Flash, which has started filming its final season. So you're not really going to see any changes there. Superman Lois has started filming. You're not going to see many changes there. But I think the big changes you're going to see is in those new shows that they are going to be producing, the shows that haven't been made yet. So that's going to be a big deal when they come out. And also what's going to be a big deal is the future seasons of Superman Lois and Stargirl and the other shows that are funded by the CW and are created by Nexstar who are in charge of the CW. So that's going to be a huge, huge deal in the very near future because it could potentially affect our Arrowverse shows in a big, big way. And I really hope they don't go ahead and cancel a bunch of the last remaining Arrowverse shows. As far as we know, apparently, according to a report, Nexstar is said to be fans of such broad CW fare as Jared Padalecki's Walker franchise. I know that's pretty popular. I don't watch it, but it is. Greg Balanti's Superman Lois, they're a fan of, which is very good news for Superman Lois fans, as well as the family focused Kung Fu. Obviously, they like, you know, kind of family focused stuff because that's just the way that they've been promoting it. And they want content, like I said, that can play all day long, that can play to people just turning on the CW and, you know, playing it in the background. That is what they want. They just want live viewer ratings. They don't care about the online after the show viewer ratings, which the CW in the last like couple of years have really been embracing. Like CW app is the place where everyone goes. And then also, you know, their deals with Netflix, but obviously since HBO Max, Warner Brothers took the content. And that's why kind of this buyout really happened, I think, because they would, uh, you know, make a lot of their money by selling their content to places like Netflix. So at least it's good that Nexstar likes Superman Lois, according to a report from The Hollywood Reporter. So I did a video on this earlier this week, so you can go check that out if you want. Uh, But that is actually good news because, you know, there is definitely the scariness of, oh, is this show going to get cancelled? Is this show going to get cancelled? What's going on? Because of this new takeover and with Mark Padowitz gone, what's going to happen? So I'm going to go over to the chat and I'm going to have a look at what you guys have been saying because I've just been talking for like 10 minutes straight about this. Uh, And if any of you guys have any super chats you want to send in in regards to Mark Padowitz leaving and the changes in the Arrowverse and the CW, please be sure to send them in now and I'll go ahead and answer them before I move on to the next question. That would be much appreciated. Um, okay, I'll watch another member of the channel. And if 
I, I should remind you guys, if you want to become a member of the channel and you want to support the channel, click the join button below. That is how, that is like one of the best ways to support the channel because it's like a monthly thing. You can go for as, uh, as much or as little as you want to support the channel. And yeah, that's just another thing that I want to point out. Also, I want to point out, I have been designing merch. I did announce last week in the live stream that we would be creating some merchandise clothing for you guys. Now, it's not merchandise clothing in the traditional sense. I've actually found a provider that is very good. Uh, many of you guys know that I, I am vegan and, you know, I very much so care about the environment. So the clothing is going to be very good quality, very good cotton, and it's going to be awesome, guys. So if you want merch, be on the lookout. I have ordered some samples of the first designs that we're going to be releasing. They're going to be at the start, limited edition. We're only going to have like maybe a select amount of them for maybe like one, two weeks, and then we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's just an announcement for you guys on live stream that I have been actually creating that. And last week, a lot of you guys said you were interested in that. So yeah, there you go. Okay, let's move on. Our watch says, I mean, it's truly sad as far as the channel, as far as the CW he means, but in terms of DC, they could just move it to HBO Max or wherever Greg Bellanti can pitch those. That is true. However, I have to point out something, Our watch. The big thing about HBO Max is there is a big asterisk right next to it because like the CW, Warner Brothers has actually been taken over by Discovery. Now, they have very similar ideas in terms of what they want to do, they want to change Warner Brothers massively, like Next Star wants to change the CW massively. And so a lot of people who are working at HBO Max have actually been laid off. And, you know, Bad Girl got cancelled. That was obviously the biggest deal. There was a Scooby Doo film that got cancelled. And it seems their main focus, Warner Brothers Discovery, is on theatrical releases and so with that in mind i would say there is a big big asterisk next hbo max right now about supporting our Arrowverse shows because they canceled a film like batwoman that's huge so what's them uh, what's making them you know you know say they get a show like uh star girl like completely and there's nothing to the cw and they don't like it and they don't think it's all very profitable because we're not getting as many views as some of our other shows what are they gonna do well they're probably gonna cancel it and the same goes for new shows like you know if the cw doesn't continue making our other shows there is always the chance that you know hbo max just doesn't take it or just cancels it so yeah, I think that's a sad reality right now. We can't really even rely on HBO Max. Uh, I mean, Netflix would be good, but I don't see it happening. I mean, it would be smart for them, to be honest. Um, hey, I was about to watch two of your videos from, I think, Monday and Tuesday, but I guess I'll wait after the stream. Well, thank you very much for watching the videos, Mayata. I really appreciate it. Yeah, go ahead and watch it after the stream. Uh, we're going to have more videos out tomorrow and the next day. I've been trying to upload daily as much as possible. Uh, I have one thing that I'm going to discuss today that I believe could be tomorrow's video. I haven't made it as of right now. But yeah, go check out all the recent videos. Thanks for the support. Some of the videos in the last week have gone over 10,000 views. Uh, one was 17,000. One just a couple of days ago was... Uh, over 10,000. So thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate you guys tuning in every day and watching. Hopefully you've been enjoying the more frequent uploads since I've been around. Okay, let's continue. Uh, see you later, Cal. And uh, hi, Flash Freak, another member of the channel just turning up. So yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. And for anyone else that is just turning up, remember, if you want to be featured on the stream like this, and have your questions brought up and you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is to send in Super Chats. Now, how do you send in Super Chats? I know all of you regulars know how to send in Super Chats. If you want to support the channel and get your question, topic, or theory brought up on the stream, well, you click the dollar sign just underneath the normal chat function and you click 
super chat obviously you can become a member and you can gift memberships which is what nathan one of our core members of the channel has been doing recently and a lot of you guys in the chat have uh, obviously are obviously going to be able to join in on the members live stream hopefully we'll be doing next week that is the goal to try and do another one and uh so yeah all of you guys who are members at least for this month you're going to be invited and then also next month if you want to become a member and get involved in the members live streams please be sure to sign up yourself by clicking the membership button and choosing any tier there is a super friend super super friend super best friend and there is a new tier super grand friend which i just introduced if you guys want to be generous and support uh but yeah for now you can click the super chat button and send in as little as two dollars two pounds or anything like that and send in any message you want uh yeah type in anything and you can go as high or as low as you want but i think two dollars or two pounds is like the minimum in terms of sending a message on screen and you're going to be featured on the channel so that's very cool and remember this video goes up afterwards um my country doesn't have super chest or super stickers oh well fair enough i mean it's not the same everywhere i know there are some restrictions on youtube in different places but that's just how it is it's okay uh, i'll be reading from the chat as well um but yeah let's move on to my next topic so my next topic actually is kind of like inclusive of uh, what I was just talking about. And this all came came out like, you know, roughly the same days. And we're going to be talking a little bit about Justice U as of right now. So Justice U is a new show that is coming from David Harewood. David Harewood, obviously from Arrow and has shown up on many shows. He basically, uh, he basically has given an update in regards to uh, Nathan. I don't see it, um, which is weird. I don't know why. Oh, I'm on my DC TV show account. Sorry. Anyway, I was just checking. Nathan, Nathan was just messaging me something. I apologize for the distraction, guys. Um, uh, but yeah, let's talk about uh, Justice You. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so basically the main update was that Justice U is still in the works and it hasn't been cancelled by Nexstar like all of the other shows. And as of right now, David Ramsey has said that Justice U is currently in the works. It's on its second draft right now. They have hired a writer. It's a female writer. He said that specifically in the quote that was released to TV Line through an article at I also made a video about this earlier this week. If you guys want to go check it out. Um, it's actually the last video that I did before this live stream. So after the stream, go watch that. Uh, but basically, David says that Justice U is on its second draft with the writer currently writing it right now for the pilot, which is obviously good news for fans that have been expecting and wanting this to actually go ahead. But for now, I think it's good news considering the fact that Nexstar has been so against any new shows and they've been just trying to axe everything that they can. And so, yeah, this is very good news for Arrowverse fans, although with a big asterisk as well. According to Dave Ramsey, this is presumably going to be set in the Superverse in Superman Lois's Earth, which is in some ways very exciting because... You know, it's Superman and Lois, and they've said there's no hero, so you've got a blank slate. They can introduce anyone. They can even introduce an alternate version of Arrow if they want. And all these kids, well, the university students that are going to be the superheroes in Justice U that John Digger was going to be leading, they can be characters that we've seen in the past, and they can show up again, even if it's not the same actor. That's what the Superverse is kind of set up to be, this blank slate. And so, as of right now, still happening, but maybe not included in the whole hour of us. What the hell? The plant just moved. That was scary. I literally saw that on the screen. That was freaky. Sorry, guys. A little freak out there. Um, but yeah, so what do you guys think about that? Are you still excited for Justice U, even though that it's supposedly set in the Superverse rather than the greater Arrowverse? It's not set on Earth Prime. It's not... The John Diggle that we're used to. 
What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments, in the live chat right now. Please be sure to send them in. And once again, you can send in super chats if you want to be featured on the stream um, and want to support the channel. Obviously, that is awesome. I do encourage it if you're able to. Um, but yeah, let's see what people are saying in the chat. He said, wait, I thought it was set up in the Arrowverse. Uh, it doesn't need to be the Superverse. I don't mind Diggle, but I don't mind, but Diggle is part of the Arrowverse. Well, I agree. I have to say that I would love it to be in the Arrowverse, and I think it's kind of weird that they're creating this alternate Diggle that we keep on seeing, you know, uh, on Superman Lois's Earth, who is now apparently not even... Uh, the the diggle that we we know from arrow obviously that is like uh i don't know it's it's disappointing i will say it's disappointing uh because we love the arrow version of diggle and it's just weird how david ramsey has been such a huge advocate for the superman lois universe he's been asked so many times and he said it so many times um which is just weird uh but I understand, like, the blank slate, the kind of uh, appeal of there being nothing to kind of go off of uh, by creating this new universe. I mean, that's what Crisis was all about. But, you know, Superman Lois is just completely uh, retconning it season one and everything that happened with the characters in the past. And uh, now Justice U is continuing with that. Um, but, yeah, thanks for the comment, Mayata. Really appreciate it. Also... Flash Freak in the chat, a member of the channel, has now upgraded to the latest super chat, uh, to the latest membership tier on the channel. Thank you so much, Flash Freak, for upgrading to a super grand friend. I really appreciate the support. I believe you are the only person as of right now who is on the super grand tier scheme. So that is exclusive for you as of right now. Uh, which is very very exciting. Uh, thank you for thank you for being a member. I really appreciate it. And anyone else that is a member as well, I see that a new member joined literally today. Uh, that is Mark Ebony. So shout out to him. Not sure if he's in the live stream or what, but yeah, he is also a member of the channel. And I see that some memberships have actually expired just because they were like one month memberships that like Nathan gave. But the current people who just got it recently, like Jay Bradley, Citizen, Tim Scott, Aaron Hardin, and everyone, you guys should still have your memberships for at least until the end of this month. I don't remember exactly when. I think you've got about two weeks left of the membership. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate you. Flash Freak for upgrading to Super Grand, Super Grand Friend. Uh, that, that is obviously a huge support towards the channel every month. So shout out to Flash Freak. Um, yeah, and uh, I think I included, well, it's not going to get you a link to my OF page, uh, Flash Freak. However, I did include in the membership tier. Let's go over to the membership tier. I click the join button i can see uh basically what i'm doing is i'm actually upgrading so the super grand friend because i think it's going to be quite limited as to who is going to be in that tier you guys are going to become moderators of the channel and obviously only if you're reliable and if you come watch the live streams so flash freak I know that you're always around, so I'm going to make you a moderator because right now the only moderators we have is Nathan and also Andy from Screen Run and from the Flash podcast. Uh, so, yeah, you're a new member. You're a new moderator of the channel. Just literally upgraded you. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for being a super grand friend. That's what you get. Uh, you get to be involved a little bit and, you know, moderate the chat. So, Obviously, try and do it well and try and, you know, if there's any, like, spam bots that come in the chat, try and block them just like Nathan does. And, yeah, so shout out to Flash Freak for doing this. That is awesome. Okay, so let's move on to the next topic and welcome to everyone that has been joining. I see quite a lot of you are in this live stream today, kind of like our old numbers. 
around the 50 viewer mark, which is very, very good and great to see. Just want to tell you guys who are tuning in still live. Uh, we live stream every Thursday. Today is on a Friday because I double booked yesterday and I just kind of ran over there. But that was my mistake. So that's why we're live today. But normally 9 p.m. UK time. Currently it's 9 p.m. We started a little bit earlier today. However, 9 p.m. UK time um, every Thursday. Tune in live with me. So, all right. Let's move on to the next topic. And I see you, Flash Freak. Anyone who doesn't compliment Ben's haircut gets banned. Now that Flash Freak is moderator of the channel, <laughs> baby. Um, but thanks for the compliment. I appreciate it. Okay, let's move on. So, uh, I will I be on an after party? Uh, Saturday is tomorrow. We'll see. I'm gonna. I'll message Eric. Um, okay, the eighth year anniversary of the Flash is today. I don't know if you guys know that, but today is a big day because of the anniversary. And coming up, I believe, later this month is actually the 10th anniversary of the entire Arrowverse. So it's the 10th anniversary of Arrow, basically. And uh, I just wanted to point it out because it's a big deal. And I don't know if The Flash is going to be doing anything big about it because 8 isn't like a rounded number. Yes, it's an even number, but it's not 10 or 5 or something like that. But the Arrowverse is turning 10 years old. So the one problem we have this year is on the 10th anniversary, we don't have any shows. We only have Stargirl. And yes, Stargirl is doing a crossover with Titans and uh, Doom Patrol, but that's not on Stargirl season three. That's on the next season of Titans. And I don't know when that's coming out. Uh, so we're not really going to get any kind of uh, crossover, uh, which is... I see you out watch watch out i got flash freak in the chat he's gonna come for you members that diss my hair <laughs> uh i need a haircut though but yeah so as of right now we actually aren't going to be getting any sort of like big event for the era versus 10th anniversary but obviously when the 10th anniversary hits we'll be making a couple of videos uh, which is a big deal on the channel obviously because we are an arrowverse uh, channel at its core i'm actually gonna type in when did arrow premiere when was the pilot the pilot first aired on october 10th 2012 oh my god october 10th that's in three days time so yeah gonna have a 10th anniversary video coming then i guess in the next few days time so uh, what would you guys want for a 10th anniversary video of the Arrowverse? Um, let me know. Let me know in the chat. Ten, three days time. Oh my God, I didn't realize it was happening so soon. I thought it was like later this month. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, Keita, another member of the channel, says, is there going to be uh, a Ben with a nice haircut birthday stream? Maybe, we'll see. Yeah, birthday birthday stream should be happening sometime around Halloween because that is my birthday. So uh, last year I did a stream with Eric and Paigey. Maybe I can get them back on and we can do a fun stream and we can do a quiz and everything as a birthday stream. So we'll have to wait and see, but I'm definitely going to plan that. Uh, thanks for the comment. Gary has turned up. Welcome, Gary, to the live stream. I appreciate you showing up once again. Uh, sorry for it being Friday, like I explained to everyone else earlier. Uh, yesterday, I was supposed to stream, but I just was too busy, and I didn't realize until it was too late. So, yeah, back on live streaming next Thursday, Gary, and for everyone else who is watching right now. Uh, but for now, let's answer Gary's super chat. Thank you very much, Gary. First super chat of the live stream. Obviously, Flash Freak upgraded his membership, so shout out Flash Freak once again. But Gary Gammon says, will Stargirl and Superman, will they get season four? Is the Flash getting delayed later than January? And are you mad at me? So, oh, look, Flash Freak, we got your first act in the chat. Click on the name and time them out. Go. <laughs> um, I'm having way too much fun with this. Uh, okay. 
Good job, Flash Freak. I see you. Uh, so let's answer Gary's super chat. First off, let's answer Will Stargirl and Superman Lois get renewed for their new season? So will Superman Lois get a season four? Will Stargirl get a season four? The answer to that is, I don't know as of right now. Honestly, with this new takeover from Next Star, I would say Stargirl is at risk. And I know it's joined with HBO Max in, in some ways, so it could potentially be saved because it's not just a sole CW show like Legends of Tomorrow, Batwoman, or Naomi. So with that in mind, I would say there's maybe a 60% chance Stargirl gets renewed and then like a 40% chance it doesn't go ahead. I'm really rooting for it to go ahead, despite me still being behind on Stargirl. However, Suman Lois, will they get renewed for a season four? Well, like I mentioned earlier in the stream, Next Star is actually supposed to be big fans of Suman Lois. So that definitely reigns, v- rings very important in terms of like our, our kind of stats, like, do we think it's going to get renewed? Well, because they like it, probably going to get renewed. And they want to keep shows that are somewhat profitable and have good ratings. Superman Lois has good ratings. So there is no reason to get rid of it as of right now. So I'm going to say 100% yes for season four of Superman Lois. Stargo season three, 60% chance. That's just my rough guess. Uh, let me know. What do you guys think in the chat? Let me know. Um and then Gary also goes on to say, is the Flash getting delayed later in January? The classic Gary question. The answer to that, as always, is we don't even know if it's coming in January. They haven't set a premiere date, so we will find out then when they do set a premiere date. But for now, there's always a chance it could be after January in February, honestly, just sometime around the mid-season. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Gary also says, are you mad at me? Gary, no, I'm not mad at you. You showed up to the live stream. I'm never mad when you show up to the live stream, Gary. So I really appreciate your support and sending in the super chat. Uh, Yeah, Gary is awesome. And remember, guys, our goal one day is to send, is to get Gary a membership. So if anyone ever fancies gifting memberships, no one except the membership if Gary is in the live stream and Gary can click the accept uh, gifting option and Gary become will become a member of the channel because Gary has been a long time supporter of the channel and I really appreciate you Gary and uh, yeah we just gotta hopefully one day it happens we figured out that gifting memberships isn't actually random you have to select yourself what when uh, memberships are actually gifted so Maybe one day. We'll see. Uh, But also, Jamie in the chat, I can't pop it up on the stream, which is a bit annoying. But Jamie has been a member for 19 months. So shout out to Jamie, one of our core members, along with Nathan, Tom, and everyone who has pretty much been a member since the start. So shout out to Jamie in the live stream chat who just uh, showed up. He says, do you think the Rogues will have a big focus in season nine so that is a very very good question uh and we've actually got a theory that i wanted to bring up and this is from another member of the channel nathan um and this links in together i know you guys have been talking about the theories to do with the rogues and will they have a big focus in season nine so let's go ahead and actually uh answer this so uh do you think the rogues will have a big focus in season nine i think there is always a chance that they're going to have a focus however i've never been a big supporter of the rogues for the tv show because i feel it's better to have one villain and focus on that one villain that's just my personal opinion but let's go over to nathan's theory and uh oh no problem dreamer versus lena well thank you for joining the live stream i really appreciate it and thanks for being a subscriber and watching my videos and showing up to live stream is awesome. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Supergirl news, by the way. It's kind of Dreamer related, actually. So that's very cool. Uh, after we talk about this theory to do with the rogues, I've got just my phone up because Nathan has sent me some theories that I'm going to go over. Um, okay, theory one. This final season will be about legacies and Boomerang's son will be a 
part of the new rogues gallery with Weather Witch, Trickster, and other children of the rogues or people who have been inspired by the villains. This is obviously very possible, and considering we've seen this new Captain Boomerang in set photos, there's always a chance, as I've speculated in the past when we first found out, that this could be Captain Boomerang's son. That is definitely a strong option for the Flash. So that kind of fits into this kind of new rogues thing that has actually been teased for the last few years, but they've never like fully gone in with the rogues. Theory two, following on from the negative speed force, selecting a new avatar in the comics, multiple people became conduits only to lose them later. I think this Boomerang Weather and his son of the original or a doppelganger will be a test avatar and the machine is to expand its net in case it doesn't work out well that is very interesting um what i don't know about the specific machine nathan was talking about however you know the idea of you know this new kind of negative speed force avatar being selected that's very possible because you know it needs a it needs a uh a conduit but as of right now hasn't picked a conduit since reverse flash obviously <laughs> stopped being the conduit and uh, yeah uh the final theory is very different and oh not very different it is a completely different captain boomerang by the name of owen mercer this is to become his mother because his mother, oh, okay, wait. So Captain Boomerang is Owen Mercer, and his mother is a thorn, and his father is the original Captain Boomerang, uh, and uses a device to give him small bursts of speed in the comics. He's the half brother of Bart Allen in their mother's side. Well, that is interesting. Yeah, that's a little bit more out there, uh, in terms of you know Nathan's theories, but. Nathan, always a good theory maker. Jamie, always a good theory maker. That is, uh, uh, you know, we've talked about this in our members chat on Instagram. So, yeah, that is another thing. You know, we come up with some very good ideas. And sometimes I actually make them as videos and obviously always shout out the people that came up with it. So, yeah, those were some of Nathan's theories. Uh, yeah, some, uh, I think the new rogues idea and the idea of actually uh, Captain Boomerang being the son of uh the new captain boomerang being the son of the original person that we've seen on arrow and such i think that's very very possible uh but obviously that last one is a little bit out there but good thinking nathan good thinking uh it would be really exciting to see lena luther be evil in the comics since she is luther and i'm not anti lena but i'm just one to see the other perspective like for evil not like pat not like petty like how she was towards Kara. I think that's what you meant. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I would like to see that. And I like the fact that we are expanding on these characters. And supposedly we're going to be getting a Supergirl character in The Flash this season. So we'll have to wait and see who that is. But my theory is that is Dreamer. But let's go on to the Supergirl related news for this live stream. Now, this is the news that Nicole Maines, who has been very active recently in regards to Dreamer, obviously she was just introduced to Fortnite, she's been in lots of comics, and she's actually been writing them herself. And now it's just been announced that Nicole Maines from Supergirl will be one of the main writers of the comic event in DC Comics, Lazarus Planet. Now, I haven't stayed up to date with recent comic events, I apologize for that. I know a lot of you guys do like to stay up to date, but basically she's going to be writing at least one or two stories in Lazarus Planet, which will have seven issues and will be released in January 2023. So that's around the time that The Flash and Superman Lois is going to be premiering their new seasons. And in the story, apparently Dreamer will provide visions that should or should not guide the heroes of the DC Universe to victory into their new battle. So this is obviously going to be a big seven-part event, Lazarus Planet, and Dreamer is going to be providing some interesting insights to the heroes, and she's going to be helping them guide them to victory. 
uh, by using her dreamer powers, and that's very exciting. And the fact that Nicole Maines is going to be so involved, very, very excited for that because, you know, as you guys know, big Supergirl fan, and I'm a big dreamer fan. So, you know, more the merrier, I say, and that is very exciting. So, yeah, that is the Supergirl related news that I wanted to mention in this live stream. Uh, potentially going to be making a video speculating a little bit more in the next few days. Um, but yeah, very interesting. Can't wait to see Dreamer in the comics once again. She's been a huge thing recently, and I mean, more the merrier, as I said before. So for now, please be sure to send in any final super chats that you guys want to send in. Uh, we're going to be ending the stream a bit earlier than usual but I really appreciate everyone who has been tuning in. So last couple of topics, last couple of Super Chats, if you guys send them in. So send them in by clicking the dollar sign underneath the chat function, click Super Chat, and you can join in. And also, if you want to become a member, remember to join during the live stream because I can pop you up on the stream and we can talk about it. And yeah, so that is just, you know, cooler than just joining randomly, I guess. Uh, can you do a topic video on Lena? What happens if she was evil and Kara? How would she stop her? Maybe. Yeah, that's something that I could do. You know, some speculation videos in regards to Supergirl and some maybe alternate realities or continuation comics. Very good idea. Uh, also, remember, I, I'm going to be making a 10th anniversary Arrowverse video. So any suggestions in the chat, very much so welcomed. Um, but for now, let's go into these final topics that i have and any final super chats that get sent in before the end of the stream um yeah also look at the chat jamie just sent in a bunch of emotes that you get when becoming a member so yeah uh mr ferraria is ferrara sorry is having trouble sending the super chat and the buy and send button is not working huh that's interesting uh all you need to do is Maybe you should just reload your stream, but you just click that, click Super Chat, and then you put, like, uh, is the Flash getting delayed later than January? The typical Gary question. And then you click Buy and Send, and then you put in your details. That's pretty much it. Okay, so let's continue with this. Right. Oh, I just lost my page. One second. Thank you, Flash Shriek, for monitoring the chat. Uh, and yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, I guess. <laughs> That's obviously a big thing, and I think that goes without saying. But yeah, any any, any final questions, send them in, in the chat or via Super Chat right now. We'll answer them. So the final topic I have is from TV Line again. And it was reported that The Flash Season 8 was supposed to have a callback slash reference to Abracadabra's Chronarch name drop from Season 7, but it got cut. So that means that they officially have confirmed Chronarch potentially could be a thing in the next season of The Flash, in the final season, because apparently TV, got, TV Line is going to be releasing the deleted scene that includes a callback to the Kronog name drop. So that's huge, right? That is huge. That could potentially be the big reveal about a potential season nine villain of The Flash. So what do you guys think about that? Really, please be sure to let me know because that is a huge deal. Kronog, obviously we made videos when it was first name dropped, but that would be a big deal. Um, and yeah, Jamie, you're right, is only 13 episodes, so The Flash is going to be very much so shortened in its final run for Season 9. But, yeah, that pretty much does it for this live stream, unless anything comes in just before the end. I really appreciate you guys tuning in live, supporting the channel via Super Chats or becoming a member. Um, and, like I said earlier, we're going to be potentially releasing some merchandise very very soon so if you guys are interested in getting some dc tv mer merchandise from me uh some very good quality ones as i said earlier uh please be sure to stick around 
I'll be announcing it probably in a video as well as the next live stream whenever I actually decide to release it. But for now, I've ordered some samples and I'll be doing some giveaways along with the announcement. So for now, yeah, uh, very, very exciting. Lots of DCTV stuff coming out. Remember to check out all my recent videos and um, anything else that I'm going to be releasing very soon. And remember, every Thursday, live streams. That's when we're going to be doing it. That's when we always do it. So thank you to everyone who has been watching. Uh, Jamie does say he continues on the Cronarch thing. He says, I think it'll be uh, six episodes of Cronarch and then one filler and then another six episodes of another villain. I think that is very much so possible. There was the supposed Cobalt Blue teaser at the end of the season. So I don't know if that's going to come to fruition, but you would suppose. So maybe it's a Cronarch Cobalt Blue uh kind of kind of season we're going to be getting in season nine but yeah that pretty much does it thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it please be sure to leave a like and then also comment after the live stream is finished i would really appreciate it, it helps get the channel out there get the video out there and the live stream and yeah just please tune in watch all the videos that's all i ask from you guys and uh you know for those of you who take the extra mile and support the channel by super chatting or becoming a member shout out to you guys so for now thank you guys so much for watching oh wait we have one final super chat from our watch sends in a 4.99 super chat i think he did that in a rush he says hi ben hi our watch and uh yeah shout out to you for being a member and uh, <laughs> you meant to say bye well bye see you later our watch and uh yeah thanks for supporting the channel i appreciate that final super chat but for now catch you guys later see you for tomorrow's video. Goodbye.